Today, Sunday, 28th of May, Ragnar and I are visiting for the first time the World War II reenactment event Railway to Liberty Edition 4 in Eklo. With later today, a trip by train and a mock battle afterwards are planned. Again, the Zweizer Panzer TV tune invited me, so I'm going to start with their display and vehicles first. Followed by all the other displays and vehicles. This side of the terrain is reserved for the German displays and so we turn over to the display of the Glückhafte Division. Well, it looks like all of them are also off for a walk at this moment. And at the other side we come to the displays of East to West 4045. Unfortunately, the rest of our group couldn't make it today, therefore we're here without our displays and motorcycles. Here we see the base camp of the 277 Volksgrenadier Division. There are also two Flakhalferinnen present, without their display for now, but they'll have an important role on the train, as you will see later on this video. Now we'll come to the great display of the Historische Reenactment Vereniging Nederland, a group that represents both World War II US, German and even Napoleonic and Roman. But this weekend they are here with their German Flugwache displays equipped with binoculars, radios, telephones, a Morse key, a navigation plot table and so on, set up under a camo net. And here we see a little overview of the terrain for the battle that will take place at the end of the day. Now we'll have a look at the other side of the terrain, reserved for all the Allied displays and vehicles.
and almost right away I see a US Matic display. For me always nice to check it out. Of course, we also meet familiar faces. Smalika's household is also present with their displays. Let's have a look at this great 25 pounder, a World War II British howitzer with a caliber of 78.6 mm with a relatively high rate of fire. This one will be used during the battle today, so keep watching my videos of the event. Ah, nice! Another US Matic display. Let's have a closer look at all their stuff. And here we probably see a captured German sidecar. Even the US reenactors love those motorcycles. And in the back, if I'm right, is standing a Packard Clipper 1942 staff car. And in the second row, we start with the display of the 18th Feld Division and the Allies. With their German displays of the Fell Division Jungs. I can already hear you think, but are they standing here with their German displays on the Allied sections of the terrain? Well, easy. Their reenactment name says it all. Yesterday, they showed their US display on the same spot. They even brought their US half track with them. Unfortunately, the owner had to leave today, so we have to do it with this picture. And this is a great display of the 2nd Canadian Infanterie Division of the Essex Scottish Regiment. Prima. 
This is an US field kitchen, part of the company headquarters, designed to serve 150 to 180 men. They intended to serve two hot meals per day, breakfast and supper, with dinner as a combat ration. Now we are going back to the other side for some vehicles of the group historical military vehicles. For me, it's the first time that I see an armed SIS jeep during a reenactment event. And last but not least, the displays of reenactment group Belgian Army in United Kingdom. Around noon, the steam train arrived at the event to pick up some of the reenactors and drive them back to the station of Maldea. The remaining reenactors stayed to prepare the battle. Ik ga door met de deur van Leuk. Kun jij even filmen?
It was Ragnar's first time on the train, so I had to give him a helping hand to put him in the railway garage. After a 20 minute drive, we arrived at the Maldigam station. Here we had to get off the train so that an extra carriage could be connected. People could reserve a ticket so they could take the train here and travel along with all of us back to the reenactment event in Eklo. So they could really soak up the atmosphere of 79 years ago. Now it's a perfect time to let you all enjoy the 1940s atmosphere. <laughs> We are now on our way to have a look at that special extra train carriage I mentioned earlier. You already can see a glimpse in the back. And here it is. A nice German Flakfeerling 38, a quad mountain 20mm anti aircraft and anti tank artillery gun, on top of this open train carriage. Finally, it's time to pick up the flock carriage under the approving eye of the flock helferin and ready for connecting it to the front of the locomotive. <laughs> this is the end of part one 
Don't miss the train ride from the flag carriage and of course the battle afterwards. Both seen in part two. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe and hit the bell button.